Somewhere in the northern Virginia wilderness, legend tells of an ancient creature. Just, you know, I, I remember the day forever. It was just horrible. There's something up with that. Shoot a creature, don't fall down. A man said to be eight feet tall, with charcoal all over his face. His long, dark hair, and it was, it was kind of like Burnett Auburn or something. I don't know, it looked really well on him. He rocked it. And his face was dark like charcoal. Scientists and researchers set out on an expedition. Today on the expedition, we're going to go out, we're going to find physical evidence about this. Uh, the charcoal face man just sounds stupid to me. Hey, get out of here, I'm taking a dump! Tempers flare. And, uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> and people won't stop looking at cameras. Can you, can, you, can you now look at the camera, please? Hey, are you going to look at the camera every time you talk? I don't really know what to say. Uh, Stop looking at the f***ing camera! At this particular point. On tonight's episode of Creature Hunt. Hey, what are you doing in my office? Just kidding. Hi, I'm Ben, ben Hoyt. Well, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a big believer in this sort of thing. Uh, the charcoal face man just sounds stupid to me. Um, the only reason I really took the case was because, uh, uh, my wife, she kicked me out of the house. I'm kinda out of the home right now. So this, this is your office? Yeah, the pictures are my children. Children's pictures, but I don't think they're my children, really. Wife sleeping around. So, uh, are we gonna talk about this? Yeah, 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 man. Just uh, pull, pull up a chair. <laughs> pull up a chair. So, when my doctor actually told me what a colonoscopy was, I was in that operating room. No way you could stop me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Listen, can we uh, can we just talk? Don't about put your hands on my desk. What? It's my desk. Don't don't put your hands on my desk. Can uh can can we just talk about the charcoal face man then? Can do you have can you show yeah, me, yeah. show me anything? <clears throat> so they uh they found this camera out in the woods and uh it was a a photo a film camera. It wasn't a digital camera. Like the one my wife used uh They found this. This was one of the photos developed. Um a charcoal face man. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, it is. It's so real. Okay. That's garbage, right? Richard Smalls recalls his horrifying tale. Well, it was about a year ago, and uh, we, me and my buddies, we were out golfing, and uh, I, I hooked it into the rough. You know, I'm not I'm not the best golfer, but uh, when I was I was searching back for my ball, and uh, and this this creature threw the ball back, and it, it hit me in the forehead, and I I looked up, and this creature it had to be um, I don't know it was about eight feet tall, oh, and it had long dark hair, and it was it was kind of like brunette auburn or something I don't know it looked really well on him he rocked it. But uh, yeah, and he stood up, and he looked at me, and he just turned real slow and walked away. And I screamed like a little bitch and ran away. And uh, to this day, I haven't gone back to that golf course because it's just—it's too horrifying. It was—I was actually right back here. It was—it uh, was—it was around Sterling, Virginia. And it was just—I I remember the day forever. It was just horrible. We're out here in uh, the northern Virginia wilderness, and it's uh, it's day one of the uh, charcoal face expedition. So uh, basically, we're just gonna do a walkthrough today. Yes, uh, um, <coughs> we're uh, expeditioning right now. Um, I am a professional uh, charcoal face man hunter. Um, so we will be. Uh, Hold on one second, please. He's 
been here. I'm feeling very good about the, this uh, expedition. I think it's going to be good. And we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go about it. On the go! Listen here, okay? People have seen this thing. People have wrote about this thing for thousands of years. We have Indian detailed writing about a creature out in the forest with a black face, okay? We, we have no evidence, but that does not mean this thing does not exist, okay? We uh, found a feather from a bluebird, and the, uh, the legend has it that uh, the charcoal-faced man supposedly feasts on these and probably can't see, but uh, there's just a little bit of blood we think he's been through here. So, uh, going to keep searching. Jimbo was hunting in the Northern Virginia wilderness. 1978. Disco era, I believe. And, uh, beginning of disco. Yeah. Well, uh, it was late at night. <clears throat> My vision gets blurry at night. So I didn't get a real good, uh, clear view of the, of the creature. But, I know I saw something. I know these woods like the back of my hand. It was quiet. Real quiet. I looked up. And his face was dark like charcoal. Like one of those people that go in the jug band. So I shot at it, and it didn't fall down. Shot twice, didn't fall down. There's something up with that one. Shoot a creature, don't fall down. Last time I gone hunting. That was the last time I gone hunting. 